And it came to pass, when the Lord was about to take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, please, for the Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. But he said, As the Lord lives, and as your soul lives, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood facing them at a distance, while the two of them stood by the Jordan. Now Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, and it was divided this way and that, so that the two of them crossed over on dry ground. And so it was when they had crossed over that Elijah said to Elisha, Ask, what may I do for you before I am taken away from you? Elisha said, Please, let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. So he said, You have asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I am taken from you, it shall be so for you. But if not, it shall not be so. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for a sponsorial psalm. Psalms 31. Let our response be, Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid upon for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you, in the presence of the sons of men. Response. Let your hearts take comfort, all your hope in the Lord. You shall hide them in the secret place of your presence, from the plots of man. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion, from the strife of tongues. Response. Let your hearts take comfort, all hope in the Lord. O love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful and fully repays the proud person. Response. Let your hearts take comfort, all hope in the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, he is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, chapter 6. Glory, Glory to, you. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Take heed that you do not do your the terrible deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, have no reward from your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do a terrible deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. As I say to you, they have the reward. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left arm, left hand know what your right hand is doing. What your terrible deed may be in secret, and your father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in synagogues on the corners of the street, that they may be seen by men. As should I say to you, they have the reward. But when you pray, you go to your room, when you have shut the door, pray to your father who is in secret place, and your father who sees the secret will reward you openly. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with the sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. As surely I say to you, they have the reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your father who is in a secret place and your father who is in secret will reward you openly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Once again, uh, sa ordinary time, mostly, makita mo ang mga uh, Ato ng mga gospel reading is the, what you call the, the everyday uh, life of a Christian. 
practical day, a practical way every day to apply the Word of God. And here, you could see very simple instruction from God, not only every day living, but every day living right. Muno magkabuhi o kristyano, what komplikado. No, every day, we, we, even you're a Christian or not, you read the Bible or not, you have your way in doing things in life every day. Sa house, sa church, sa office, wherever we go, we have to do things always. We always do things, whatever it is. But what in our reading today about specifically in giving, in doing something good, to others, prayer, and fasting, mostly over it. What a Christian must do. So specifically, these are what you call uh, our uh, things to do every day also, our giving, our praying, our fasting as Christian. And the Lord wants us to do things from the heart. lang, simply lang. Because you cannot give that said, let give uh, said people to see. Well, there are times that you could give secretly to people. There are times like that that only you and that person knows. But there are times also that people would see you like giving our offering, okay, giving in uh, something with in front of the people, like praying, you could pray. In your house, only you and God would see. But at that time, you are here right now. You are sitting here. We are praying. Everybody could see that. And sometimes there is what you call a, a, a cold past. No? We say, okay, tomorrow, uh, those who would like to fast. Well, everybody knows that everyone is fasting. But still, the bottom line is whether it is personal, only you and God, or here, Publicly, together with other members of the church, our prayer, our giving, our fasting, we always boils down to our motives. Why? Why are we doing that? Very, very simple. But the Lord is more, first of all, interested in the motive. Why? Than the action. Because Hamakwani. We could fake the action. We could fake the action. We could do that. Especially for us, evangelical people, we could quote scriptures, uh, uh, wrap our bad motives with scriptures so that it would appear and be justified that it is spiritual and of God. We could do that. But one thing for sure, God sees that. God sees that. Maybe nobody knows, but God sees that. And it always comes back to us. Mabalek. It should. Mabalek. It would go back to us. Mabalek. So whatever it is, but again, it boils down to our motives. Motives from the heart. Why we are praying? Why? We are giving. Why? We are fasting. And God knows that. God knows. And so then we say, when do you give with the motive that everybody would see, they have already reward. Una out and reward, oh, you can believe. Believe. That is the reward. Believe from mga tao. Doing malang. After that, what? What next? Oh, bumili bunu tawo. Everybody believes in you. Everybody is talking about what you're doing, you're praying, you're fasting, you're giving. Everybody's talking now about that. Then what next? Pagkatapos, tanong dayon. But when you do things with the right motives, what next is God would reward you. And that's something that we don't know what the Lord would give. The people with the motive just to people to be seen, to be praised, which is what they're doing, they have already reward. 
The reward is the praise of the people. That's the reward. That's all. But when you do things from the heart, the Bible says God will reward you often. I don't know what kind of reward is that, but it's of God. It's always good. So once again, brothers and sisters, it always boils down to our motive because God sees our heart. God sees our heart. God, God sees our heart. So may it be once again that when you do things of praying privately or publicly, giving privately or publicly, fasting privately, it's always in the motive of love and to praise God. Please stand.